Welcome to CMM and welcome to our Scanning Electron Microscopy Introductory Theory course. We're doing the presentation in this way because of the COVID-19 situation and it's not the normal way we deliver uh, this course but uh, I think it will serve very well to give you an introduction to the theoretical component and certainly uh, if you engage with this topic to set you up well with the practical that will follow in whatever form that we decide to do that. So the course theory normally would take about five hours but uh, it should be considerably less than that in this presentation because we don't have the opportunity to, to discuss things individually with you to have questions asked and answered. The course comprises a discussion at the beginning normally PowerPoints, and you should have a copy of this PowerPoint presentation which should follow through in the same order that I'm presenting it. Some theory notes, and they are derived from my scope, they're our CMM theory notes, and uh, it is well worth reading those right at the outset. You also have, of course, my scope, and my scope you should, uh, as instructed in the emails that I've sent out uh, regarding the course, you should uh, tackle the short exam that they have there and, and complete that and send that on to the course coordinator who most likely will be myself. The machine instructions are the instructions that are provided by CMM to operate the, the particular SEMs that you're going to be trained on and, and operate. So those are worth reading, perhaps at the end after you've got uh, through uh, the, the other um, resources. I provide as part of this course unannotated diagrams, you should have copies of those and uh, you'll have the opportunity in the PowerPoints, during the PowerPoints to, to annotate those yourselves, to add whatever you want to those. And also we will spend some time looking at some actual SEM components which we've gathered in the laboratory. Risk assessments are, are an important part of operation of, of a lot of our machines. And for routine SEM operations, such as what you'll be learning here, we do those risk assessments for you. We also cover the sputter coders, carbon coders, and uh, some sample preparation. We also provide machine instructions for routine SEM operation and for some of the coders uh, that we have uh, around the place and which we use as part of this course. There are instrument managers that we have on each of our machines and they are responsible for monitoring the SEMs uh, day to day and for looking after them uh, in terms of maintenance. We have a booking system called PPMS or abbreviated as PPMS and you can access that online and keep a record of your own, uh, your own bookings on instruments once you're licensed. MyScope is something that uh, is, is excellent and was developed uh, initially here in CMM by our former education officer, Bronwyn Cribb. The scanning electron microscopy unit that's on MyScope uh, originally derived from this SEM course. You can access it online and of course access many, many other resources which are uh, available online as well. If you're just after general SEM information, there's an excellent publication by Steve Chapman. You can get that free of charge. The, uh, the information is, is uh, uh, there in your uh, theory booklet, which I'm hoping you will have all read. And, uh, and that really talks about SEMs the way we talk about SEMs here at CMM. In fact, a lot of what I'm trying to do is give you a language for talking about SEMs, how to relate to them. Uh, that discourse will, uh, will certainly set you up uh, in, in Australia because uh, we all talk about the instruments the same way. Joel has a guide to scanning electron microscope observation. It's about 36 pages long. I urge you to, uh, to, to download that. It's very, very good, uh, particularly in the, in the imaging uh, side of things and looking at artifacts and things, problems that can occur with uh, scanning electron microscopes. We believe that you need to understand uh, a machine uh, to operate it properly. Uh, we try to teach you uh, all about the machines as much as we can in the time we have available so that you are familiar with the controls. We don't, uh, in most cases, set them and forget them and tell you to leave them alone. We encourage you to understand what you're doing with those, those controls so you can adjust the parameters to optimise your data collection. And uh, Al McEwan, our PVC research training, said it's dangerous to collect data from an instrument that you do not understand. And that certainly is our philosophy. First question is, what can an SEM provide? We're also going to look at how the SEM works and we'll start uh, in a very basic way and move through progressively 
into more complexity so that uh, you have a good understanding, I think, of, of at least the essential salient points. Things like rastering and magnification, terms that we, we use in relation to SEMs, are often not well understood. So we'll talk about, uh, about those things right at the outset. So this PowerPoint talk that I'm presenting here is derived from the latest version of MyScope. So the first thing that's covered is what is scanning electron microscopy. Second thing, how does an SEM work? How to get a good image, which uh, we have to know enough about the operation of the SEM to enable us to get a good image on different samples, in different situations. The last thing we cover uh, was specialized SEM techniques. So that's where we start to, to look at some of the exceptions, perhaps the, the non-conventional SEM techniques, uh, the high-end sort of stuff. And we'll do that um, towards the end. It's worth saying that it's important to engage with this whole uh, topic and to take it quite seriously. You may have to go over things several times. In fact, you'll notice as we go through this PowerPoint, we go through things two or three times in increasing detail each time. Uh, it's an opportunity for you to learn how to use and, oper uh, and operate an SEM uh, at a high level. We, uh, we try to produce at the end of this training course independent operators able to collect research quality images and analyses. So I wish you well. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, you can, you can email myself or other CMM staff.